Hi everyone, I'm Dahlia and welcome back to It's Raining Flowers. So today I'm so excited to teach you how to make a spiced pumpkin latte cheesecake. This cheesecake is phenomenal. I tried it last week and then once I tasted it, I was like, oh my god, I have to share it with you guys. So that's what I'm doing today. The ingredients are a bit much, but I'm telling you it is so worth it. So let me take you over all the things that you'll need so we can get started. So first off, you'll need some graham crackers, some butter, pecans, brown sugar, vanilla extract, some cream cheese, sour cream, salt, then pumpkin pie spice, sugar, some instant coffee granules, eggs, pumpkin puree, and some flour. And I'll also be leaving on my website some different variations so that you can make this gluten-free or dairy-free. And actually, I'm making mine dairy-free today. I'm using a Tofuti brand of the cream cheese and sour cream and then some vegan butter here. We could totally use dairy, not dairy, whatever you like. I just figured that because a lot of people will be wanting to make this for the holidays, I might as well give you guys some options. So now that we've gone over everything, let's get started. So the first step is to make the crust. So first we're gonna pulse a bunch of graham crackers in the food processor. You could totally use a blender for this as well. And we're going to blend this until it forms fine crumbs. So once the graham crackers are fully pulsed, and they are crummy, just like this. We're gonna add in the next three ingredients, which is some brown sugar, some butter, or vegan butter, and the pecans. And you don't have to use pecans, you could also use hazelnuts, which is just as delicious, but I happen to love the combination of pecans and pumpkin. That's why I have my favorite recipe for pecan pumpkin pie on my YouTube channel. I'll leave a link above so you can go check it out. It's seriously one of the best things ever. Anyways, so we're going to pulse this until everything is all combined and then we can put it into the pan. So the crust mixture is all ready and now it's time to get it into the pan. So I prepared here a nine inch springform pan and basically I just sprayed it with some baking spray and then lined it with a parchment paper circle. I also have here some aluminum foil and what you wanna do is place your pan onto the aluminum foil and then fold the foil up the side. And now we're gonna put the crust in. And what you wanna do is spread it out onto the bottom of the pan and then onto the sides. Once the crust is all spread out, you're going to want to take a mason jar or a glass cup and just pack it in. So you're going to take the mason jar and just push down on the crust on the bottom so it's super, super tight and packed. So my crust is super packed and it's looking excellent. What I'm going to do is place it into a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven, bake it for about 12 minutes and then let it cool completely. You do not want it hot when you're going to add in the cheesecake filling. And also, when you bake it, just put a larger pan on the bottom oven rack underneath this cake, just in case any oil spills out, it'll just drip onto the pan and it won't drip onto your oven and make a big smoky mess. So I'm going to get this in the oven and I'll see you soon. So my crust is cooling off, so now it's time to make the cheesecake filling. So I'm going to pour in the sugar, cream cheese, flour, pumpkin pie spice, and salt. We're going to give this a good mix together until it's all creamed and combined. Next, we're going to add in the sour cream and vanilla extract. We're going to mix this for another few seconds and then add in the eggs. So I'm going to add in the eggs one at a time, beating in between. So now remove three quarter cup of the batter and just put it into a separate bowl because we're gonna use it a little bit later. Now it's time to add in the coffee. So I have here a quarter cup of water, which I just boiled in the microwave, and to it I'm going to add in the instant coffee granules. So just make sure to stir this up so that all the coffee gets dissolved. Now we're going to add in this coffee mixture and a pumpkin into the cheesecake filling. So now that the batter is all ready, we're gonna put it into the pan. So my crust has baked off and it looks so good. So we're just gonna pour this all in. Then I'm going to take the bowl of the cheesecake filling that we had set aside and just swirl it in. So just pour it over and then you'll use a knife to swirl it all over. So now that this is all swirled, I'm going to get this into a 325 degree oven and bake it for 50 to 60 minutes. Then you're gonna shut the oven off, leave it there for another 30 minutes. Then after you're gonna remove it from the oven, let it cool for two hours, then place it in the fridge overnight and best 24 hours. I know it's a lot of steps, but I'm telling you it's so worth it. It's gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna get this in the oven and I'll show you what it looks like when it's ready. My cake has been in the fridge for 24 hours and I just removed it and took it out of the springform pan 
and it looks excellent. I love how it came out and the swirl in the center. It's so pretty. You guys have got to give this a try. You can find the full recipe on my website. It's rainflower.com. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more videos every week and I'll see you next time. Bye.